What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a review on the Flex Hammer Drill and Driver Set and I'm stoked to put this thing to the test. Do us a favor guys, if you have not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon. We got a bunch of tool reviews coming up and some huge projects that you guys don't wanna miss. So if you guys didn't see it, we did a review on their six and a half inch circular saw. You can check that video out right here. Now full disclosure, these were given to us. They sent them to us for us to do a review and put them through the paces, but we are gonna give you a 100% honest review. What we like about them, what we don't like about them. So let's open this thing up and see what's in there. We got the impact driver, the hammer drill, we have a three and a half amp hour battery, a six amp hour battery, and the 280 watt quick charger, plus the carrying bag. So what we did is we set up a series of tests for these things from inch and a half all the way to four inch screws for the impact driver, and then from a half inch drill bit all the way to a two inch forcener bit for the hammer drill. And I gotta tell you guys, these things burn through that test like nobody's business. All right, so let's talk first impressions for a minute. First of all, these things are a little bit heavy, just like all the flex tools. Some people might see that as a good thing, some people might see it as a bad thing. Me personally, I really like it. These things feel super well built, they're sturdy. If you drop them off a ladder or whatever, they're not gonna just shatter like some of the other ones feel like they might. Even though it's kind of heavy, it's got a really good feel to it. I'm not the biggest dude in the world, and these things fit in my hand really, really well. The only bad thing about them being heavy, obviously, is that you have to wield them around. I don't really think the clip for the belt is the most useful thing in the world because they got some weight to them. One thing I really like about the impact driver is the fact that it has two self-tapping modes, and then three power modes. And not only that, the instruction booklet actually gives you the IPMs, which is impacts per minute, for each mode. Mode one is really good if you're doing like drywall screws or some finish work, so you're not gonna damage what you're working on. Then you go up to mode three, and you can screw your refrigerator onto your ceiling if you want. This thing has some serious power. Another nice thing is the fact that it's pretty compact. So if you're like drilling in between studs, it doesn't have a huge profile. It's nice and easy to get into tighter spaces. Also, the little work light, the angle of it shines right on your bit, right on what you're working on. So that makes it pretty nice too. I also really like the quick connect button. It's nice and easy because you don't have to set it down and use both hands to change your bits. It's just right above the trigger and it is super convenient. I use a three and a half amp hour battery on the impact. And the thing I like about it is number one, it's got lights all the way around the battery that lets you know where your charge is at. And the button to check the charge is nice and easy. You don't have to search for it. You don't have to figure out where it's at. It's right in front of the battery. And the three and a half amp hour battery charges in only about 15 minutes from pretty much dead to full. That's kind of nice because you know, when you're working, you don't got time to sit and wait for your batteries to charge. One thing that Flex does different than anybody else that I really like is their owner's manuals are super comprehensive. A lot of times you'll get a tool and you'll just toss the owner's manual out or the instructions, which is what we do almost all the time. But these things really let you know what everything on the tool is and what it's used for. It gives you specific numbers to each mode. Like for instance, the impact driver, mode one is 1300 IPMs, mode two is 36, and mode three is 4450. It lets you know everything that this thing can do and 
what to use it for. That's quite a bit different than any other owner's manuals we've seen. So with the hammer drill, when I was doing the tests on them, man, I was torquing this thing down like nobody's business. I was not giving it any room to breathe, any room to move. I was just running through that two by eight. One cool thing about it, it has anti-kickback technology. Now, I don't know how they do it, but when I was putting that two inch Forstner bit through that two by eight, I was leaning on that thing and I didn't have any issues whatsoever. It's also got the turbo mode. So the regular mode has a lower RPM. Like maybe if you're drilling metal or masonry or something like that, you kick that turbo mode on, man, you can hear the difference. It kicks those RPMs up, I'd say almost double. So it has 24 torque settings, plus it has the different gears. The gear one is for lower RPMs and higher torque. If you're screwing through metal or something pretty heavy duty, then you put it into gear two and it brings those RPMs way up, especially in turbo mode. Man, you can go through a two by eight in no time. And then it has the hammer drill setting in case you want to do concrete or masonry or something like that. The hammer drill comes with a six amp hour battery and on the 280 watt charger, which it comes with, that only takes 26 minutes to charge, which is pretty quick. Also, both of them have variable speed triggers. So with the different modes on the impact driver and the different settings on the hammer drill plus a variable speed trigger, you can do anything from light finish work to concrete work that really makes it super versatile. This is kind of a buy once, cry once type deal because they'll do anything and everything you need them to. So now let's talk about some cons. The biggest con that I see on these things, honestly, is the price. So this set is about 500 bucks for everything, which let's be honest, it's up there a little bit. However, you get what you pay for. That's the only con I can find on these things. They're sturdy, they're comfortable, and they have got power for days. They work just like any other set you would get with the torque settings on the hammer drill, but I do really like the different settings plus the variable speed trigger on both of them. I did construction in the Bay Area for 15 years and used a lot of different tools. These things are an investment, but my gosh, I would have no problem taking these onto a job site. You can beat the crap out of them. You can run them forever. One thing also to remember is if you buy and you register within 30 days until the end of this year, 2023, Everything has a lifetime warranty, which nobody else is offering that. So really, the 500 bucks, it's an investment. Think about if you're a mechanic. Mechanics spend 6,000 on a toolbox, and that's not even their tools. That's just what they use to hold their tools. So these things are definitely worth the money. So guys, I'll be honest, I tried to find something I didn't like about these. I really did, but they are just great tools. Everything that we've used that Flex has made up to this point, has been the highest quality tools that we've ever had. Dad and I have talked about it a few times. These are the best tools we got, for sure. So it's safe to say these things get two thumbs up. They are great tools. Again, it's an investment, but man, if you're gonna buy tools, these things are top notch. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. We hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions about these tools or anything else, you can shoot me an email, ryan at makeawoodsign.com, and I'm happy to help. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.